recording this video after closed trade Thursday, 13th of June, 2013. Well, some days you've got to laugh, or at least laugh at yourself. I thought we were going to crash through 1600. Um, the Asian markets opened down huge. I mean, they had been up huge. Uh, and then <clears throat> as soon as the European markets opened, kind of didn't follow sweet. And we kind of started to bounce overnight. And then as soon as the US markets opened, they just took it as a good opportunity to kind of uh, do a short kind of short squeeze, you know, take advantage of the low prices and ramp the thing back up again. So what we've got here is this kind of double bottom going on here. Just no one wanted to sell it. You know, there was no kind of continuation through here through 1600. Uh, got to be a little bit careful. You know, we're dealing with uh, rollover at the moment. So I've actually got the June contract here on this 40,500 tip bar chart. But just show you the volumes between the two contracts. So the continuous contract on trade stations rolled over to the new contract. So we only had 0 0.4 million contra um, contracts traded going through on that one. The old contract, the June contract, we had 1.5 million contracts go through. So total volume is about 1.9 million. Um, you always have to finesse it a little bit on rollover day. I'd have, I think the most sensible thing for trade station to do is actually, you know, adjust the continuous contracts after the rollover day. But you know, this is what they do. Most of the volume is still going through here. So I'm looking at this chart, uh, former signals. And, you know, when we can look back in history, this is kind of more helpful. Uh, tomorrow, things will things will change. It'll kind of make more sense on the continuous contract. But anyway, I linked to that yesterday. Hopefully, you kind of understand what's going on. So, where are we? What are we doing? Um, you know, what's interesting for me is real exhaustion pattern here in blue professional bars. But we got to make pullback to end of trend signals on the 4,500 tip bar chart before uh, you know starting to even kind of roll over or whatever it's going to do. Frankly, you know, uh, we've now almost run out of time on the uh, better sine wave here. This could potentially be a pullback level kind of going in um, and us kind of going forward. The the important thing for me was, you know, no one wanted to sell it. Um, I'm just concerned that we got all these exhaustion buying patterns kind of going on here. It's a whole series of short covering rallies. Um, pretty extreme here. Didn't get up through this level here, but, you know, it was a monster day. So, I don't know. Um, you know, trend oscillators have switched over. They were all kind of taking long positions. We got the pullback to kind of come in. So, you know, um, maybe that's that's it on the downside. In terms of trading, though, there were some nice little signals you could see. So this is, again, this is the June contract. Um, overnight, this is what happened. We kind of came back down, broke that 1600 level. But the blue professional bars start to come in at the lows here. Uh, we test kind of down with a pullback to end of trend. Very weak selling going on. And then, you know, we start to come back up to the breakdown level. Then as soon as the open kind of comes in, got, it's pretty jittery. I was thinking, well, maybe we'll go, uh, it'll go kind of down, continue down. Uh, wait for the pullback to end of trend. I went short initially at nine and three quarters here. But as soon as this blue professional bar kind of came and we start to rally back, got out, got long, 11 and a quarter, and then uh, got out at uh, 15 and a quarter on this little move here. And then I was kind of sick of it because wasn't doing what I wanted to do. So uh, I just quit for the day. But then, you know, bang, just went and went and went. So all, all of these little dips, you know, so we have blue professional bars kind of coming in here. It was a Rambo pattern here. Um, and this selling uh, basically exhausted the sellers and that kind of uh, gave us a little bit of a, a bullish divergence kind of uh, pattern from which we could break into an uptrend here and kind of keep going. So uh, can't be more help to you than that. I'm not sure which way it's going to go, um, but cert certainly we've got a bit of a line in the sand at the 1600. No one wanted to sell it. So let's see. Um, and then I need to kind of do a video on what's happening in currencies and bonds and so on, um, because they've all kind of uh, flipped around and um, driving me a little bit crazy at the moment. Anyway, you got days like that. I hope you traded well. Looking forward to Friday. No, just reverse went long, 11.25, long at 11.25. That did not work out. Loss of one and a half on that first trade. Um, reason for getting long, so Blue Professional dig down just as I was kind of getting short on this uh, break of support. And that was buying the lows, buying that little dig down. We've broken back up above the highs of that Blue Professional bar. So um, I suppose... On the 1500 tip bar chart, got to see an exhaustion pattern before we turn around. Blue professional bar on the little retrace, so we need that to hold, break back up above the highs. Blue professional bar here. Come on, 
break to 12, take us into a trend move on 500 tip bar chart. And then that'll take us, we've got cyclical support in kind of in due here. So, yep, we're going to go for a run to the upside now. Okay. Let's see where this goes along uh, 11 and a quarter. Breaking up through 12s, 13. 1350 was the previous high uh, pre open. So, probably get a little bit of technical weakness there initially. Um, blue professional bar here. It's kind of fairly weak, but maybe we're going to go for a blow off um, pattern before we kind of turn around. Starts at 1525. I'm just going to leave it there. Just hope for a little bit of a, a run. All right, we got 14. Wasn't a kind of a big run run of any stops kind of here. Thought it'd be a little bit more explosive. Um, sticking around the zero line. I'd expect a bigger reading than that. But anyway, so 15 and a quarter is the target. So we got the 14 and a quarter, 14 and a half. Let's go. Uh, out 15 and a quarter, just for four. Excellent. Uh, I don't know, I think that was about 6,000. It's not a big reading on 1500 tip bar chart. It's got to go pull back to win a trend, but I'm not into it. Uh, lost one and a half on that first trade, four on the second, so two and a half, two, two trades. I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't know where we're going today. It's rollover day, don't like rollover day. Uh, maybe we'll get an exhaustion pattern and then kind of. I don't know. I thought this was it. I thought this was the big break, but we've kind of come back up. So, let's see where it uh, ends up at the end of the day.